Hello everyone, I want to keep this video a little bit short, but I just wanted to give you a few updates and rant a little bit about current events. So, um, I recently had a new baby, so this will be my second child. I'm not new to parenting, but I'm not an expert at all. But uh, because of this, there will be probably a few less posts per month than what I normally make for video tutorials, or that I would like to make anyways. Uh, so there probably will be a slowdown. I'll make it a, a good effort not to slow down on content but you never know what might happen with a baby so just keep that in mind but I'll try to keep content rolling in as often as I can uh, second update would be I'm looking for other outlets to upload videos to uh, YouTube has been my choice to my my first choice to upload content to for years and years my account spans way back to 2006 and it originally started out as a game review channel that's what my channel used to be and then you don't see any of those videos that I uploaded back then anymore because I removed them all and they were terrible uh, probably worse than the videos that I upload now um, but that's what it started out as and it kind of slowly transitioned into being a 3d channel focusing on teaching people how to do certain things and couldn't be more happy about that, but I am looking for another outlet. So if you guys know of any other websites that you would recommend or that you like to visit as well other than YouTube, let me know and I can look into that. And the reason being is because YouTube has forgotten about who made them successful. They, they don't focus on propping up the small content creator like they used to. They, they focus on larger creators that have millions of subscribers and as a business that makes sense maybe nowadays because they bring in a lot of ad revenue um, but not only that but YouTube has just made it extremely hard for your average content creator who is just trying to get by and create good content for you guys to be successful to be found to be noticed anything like that because uh, their atmosphere their climate there at YouTube HQ or whatever has just become in my opinion, extremely toxic. Um, I can't even make a video about Corona Render, which came out well before coronavirus hit, uh, COVID-19 hit, without getting some kind of flag about um, uh, the video couldn't be uploaded because it's related to the coronavirus and I'm not an, a voice of authority on it or something like that. I don't know how many people that's affecting, but I would say that me uploading a video about a 3D render program, rendering program, is not equivalent to a virus outbreak. So I don't know if it's just me that's having that issue, but I've, I've tried uploading three other videos about Corona Render and tutorials for them. And YouTube is like, no, nah, you're, you're not gonna be able to do that. And then they'll uh, essentially mark it as, uh, what is it called? I can't remember, it's like in, purgatory almost where it's up for review and they they just never review it so it never gets posted so i just remove them and i can't make videos on corona render because of that i wanted to make some other videos regarding it and haven't been able to and youtube's just not being reasonable about it and they haven't been reasonable about anything since maybe 2014 or even earlier than that so at one point, my channel had about 5,000 subscribers, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that. <clears throat> but I remember at one point, I was monetized. And I was making ad revenue. And then YouTube essentially shut. They, they did their, like, YouTube purge or whatever. And a lot of channels lost subscribers. And I've lost subscribers who have been subscribed to me for uh, a very long time. Like, since 2009. I've had people subscribe to me and they've actually reached out to me like on Facebook, which I'm not on anymore because Facebook's a toxic environment as well. <clears throat> and um, they reached out to me where they could find me and they, they asked me how I was doing and they haven't seen any of uh, my uploads in a long time. And I told them that YouTube probably removed you as a subscriber from my account or you forgot to hit a bell notification because subscribing just isn't enough. Uh, to get notified when someone uploads for some reason. They have to make it extremely difficult for people to get notified of new uploads, and it's stupid. 
Um, and then maybe some of them were just fake bot accounts that were subscribed to me. I don't know, but I was talking with a good portion of them for a really long time and I haven't been able to contact them in a while because I can't remember their names and maybe they left YouTube. But in any case, I'm not all that thrilled with how YouTube is behaving as a company. They're extremely toxic. They make it hard to, for smaller content creators to get noticed and that's who essentially made them successful to begin with and they've just totally put them, put all of us by the wayside. So I would like to start looking for different outlets to upload videos to and I would take suggestions from any of you if you're willing to provide some. The third thing is, is um, I'm going to be making a sister channel that'll be related to what my current channel is, but it's going to be more physical and real life. So I'll be just going out into the surrounding areas or just places I like to visit and just recording hikes or campouts and doing some ASMR stuff, I guess, uh, where I just kind of talk about life in general, just kind of opening up a little bit about certain things. I won't get political because politics is stupid, but um, we'll just open up about certain things in life that I either like to talk about or things that kind of grind my gears and just want to rant about, but do it in like a nice peaceful location where I can just talk to you guys. It won't be toxic. It'll just be constructive stuff that we talk about mostly. Um, and nature in general and how we can go about recreating it in 3D. It would be a really nice side project for me and it'll be related to what I'm currently doing, but it'll just be more in the physical world, which is what I like to do. I like to get out and hike and camp and fish. So you can expect a lot of fishing videos, a lot of hiking videos, and a lot of camping videos uh, on that channel and just talking with you guys. Um, if there's a channel that I could compare that to, but less political, less social commentary, would be, um, what is his name, An Andreas Bull Hansen, uh, or something similar to that. He's a guy in Norway, and he, I like him a lot. I like a lot of his social commentary, and he just kind of gets out into nature and just talks about certain things and different aspects of life, and I like that kind of format, so... I'm going to go ahead and try to do that, but here in Utah and maybe other states that I visit. So those are the updates to the channel. Uh, I know this wasn't a very fun video or very, uh, wasn't something that could probably hold your, uh, your attention for very long, but if you did make it to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. And I would also really appreciate just getting some suggestions uh, about where I can upload in the comments section other than YouTube. If anybody has any other places that they like to visit that's not YouTube, I can look there. Um, or if you just want to chit chat in the comments, that's cool too. I can do that uh, with all of you. Also, you can join the Discord. Uh, the Discord is freely available to join. You don't. There's no obligation to do anything other than just join. You can chat in there if you like. You can post your own artwork. You can ask questions, um, just post resources for everybody. The Discord channel is growing pretty much daily. We had people join today, um, as well as yesterday and the day before, and so on and so forth. So we have people joining all the time, which is really nice. We do have a theme challenge that's going on, so if you want to join and try to challenge yourself by doing something, making a really cool render, the theme is Nature in Space. Um, so... For example, uh, back uh, when I was doing a lot of stuff in Vue, there was an Eon competition or challenge that came up on their website and I made a tree that was in a bubble floating in space with a nebula in the background. looked really cool um, and I ended up winning that challenge. So uh, if you want to join up and just participate in the challenge, that's cool. There isn't any real monetary value for winning right now. Uh, if the community keeps growing the way it is, we can eventually start doing some more physical um, re awards for people who like win challenges or competitions or things like that, who, or who can contribute to the community quite often. I would really like that. The main goal of mine is to get, uh, get it to a, get us to a point where I can start doing giveaways, uh, random giveaways for people who are constantly coming back and showing support. So we're almost there, just not quite. Um, but with some more time, we'll, we'll get there. So anyways, that'll be the end of this video. 
sorry it's a boring one but it's just a life update uh, i don't expect those to be any major uh video just if you want to watch it and you got this far all the way to the end that's great anyways i will see you guys in the next video